let's talk about how to use excel queue manual so we're going to write a basic test case which is basically login into this qbank application for this url which is qbank.excelq.com enter the username and the password click on sign in and then log out okay this is the basic use case we are going to cover and see how we can write this in excel queue manual so to do that go into the excel queue application go to navigator and then to scenarios here this is the manual section we we'll click on create scenario here we want to say verify login into qbank is our scenario you can put in any description based on the context now you want to start writing your test cases so we start writing your test cases navigate to qbank application using the url specify the url user lands on qbank login page next step we want to enter the username so we want to parameterize this so we use opening and closing brackets and we say enter password opening and closing braces and then brackets and then say click on the sign in button and then the user lands on to bank home page and once the user lands on the home page you say click on log out button and then back again expected is user lands on to bank login page okay so you are logging in clicking on the logout button and you are back to the qbank login page so this is how you write your test cases you can also write them in text mode which is more like using hash and dollar hash is for your steps and dollar is for your expected result okay so you can also do this you can change the order of your steps up and down you can format them you can make them bold italic or underlined whatever you want to do so you can also use shortcut keys like control b to make this bold control i etc to make them bold and italic control b control i so all of these permutation combinations is something uh that you can do within this particular editor okay so you have written your test steps you say save now we need to write set of test cases so we say add step here here we are going to say login using admin so we specify the admin credentials and then we want to write say one more case login using user so we specify the user credentials and we have two combination of test cases created here so similar like in automation you just have to click on run and then you can select how many scenarios you want to run it on click on start a test runner opens up which gives you an idea 
about what all test cases you need to run it on. You can pass individual steps using this drop down where you can pass if the logout button is not working, you could fail it. Similarly, the rest of the steps you could pass. So there are various options you could do here. Okay. And then you can also attach uh, any image or file. So you can use a snipping tool to capture the screenshot. And then you can simply copy and put it in your runner. And name the image, say to the login page. Hit enter. And then your image is saved. And then you can just say submit. You can see the result that one test case has passed. You can also go into the scenario. And for the next scenario, if you want to run that scenario, you can see what needs to be done here. So you will see that this scenario is in progress. You can resume this. And then you can continue to the next one. You can also pass all of these steps at one time using this drop down menu. And you can say submit as completed. Right? And then this particular scenario should be completed. So that's about it. You can also trace this to your automation, trace this to your Jira. You can also link the defects. So there are various options how you can use Excel Q manual. You also have the provision to bulk import your test cases using a template reference. So if you have to bulk implode your existing test cases, that as well can be done using Excel manual. Hope you liked it. Thank you.